Hi, I'm Sonia DeBell, and we are with the gorgeous Beta Healer, author and inspirational speaker, Viana Stibble. Viana, in London, I have to tell you, at the Mind, Body and Spirit Show and Festival, but you are going to be here with Hay House doing another workshop. Right, on the 11th. On the 11th. Yeah. So, um, on the 11th. Thank you so much for this and the interview. Just to let you know, we are mid-workshop, which has been amazing. Diana, can you just tell us about Beta Healing, really, sort of in a nutshell? I know it's hard to be in a nutshell, but how would you explain it to somebody who's never heard it before? I think we just figured out a way to give you an overwhelming, to teach your subconscious and your body and your spirit how to really know that you're connected to everything that is and how to actually take that step, that leap of realization that you're connected to everything that is and a way to do it to really have effect. And you do it through meditation. We have a, a technique that takes you to a deep, deep meditation very quickly. Okay, so some of the stuff we've been doing now has been, I get the feeling that you just, you, it's a stillness, you find a stillness before you find um, the answer. The answer. Yeah. Well, it's to take you to the realization that you are connected to everything. So we have to give the, the brain has to know, okay, we're connected to everything. How do we do it? So we give it a pathway that it actually pushes and realizes that we are more than the universe. We're more than the universe. We're more than, than the angels. We're more than everything. All together, we're everything that is. And so we kind of push you to that realization. And from that, we have the power to heal ourselves. From that, we have the power to allow God to heal ourselves. Beautiful. That's exactly it. Something you said was so amazing, which resonated to my core, was detoxing. So detoxing your life, your wardrobe, and downloading your home, things, beds, furniture, bath, clothes, with really good energy and purpose. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, we, we teach you to connect this energy, but we also teach you to use this energy and direct it and to actually, instead of just returning to your home that's full of all everybody's feelings and emotions, to get rid of those things, those emotions and download them with the emotions that it should have for you. When you walk in, it feeds you back. So we teach you how to go to your shoes and teach them how to be comfortable and to your couch and tell it to be comfortable. And and actually pay attention to everything that's in your house that's taking up your energy. It's like some unwanted thought in your brain that takes up energy. It's just like regret. It takes up so much energy, it prevents people from being truly psychic. You get rid of these thoughts, well you might as well do it on the outside of your world. Your home is a reflection of you, your spirit, your home. And if as your spirit grows, your home changes and grows. And you can live in an apartment it had nothing but a mat, as long as that mat was filled with love, you could be happy. Or you could be in a mansion, but if that mansion is filled with clutter or things you hate, you'd be miserable. So you clear out the clutter. And so equally, equally, I just thought you could download before you eat. It's like a prayer. We pray over, we teach them how to pray over the food. That's the last thing we're going to talk about today. How the molecules will actually shift in the food and actually make the food so your body absorbs it. I love it. A bit like Dr. Emoto water and speaking to the water in the words of love. So you're changing the energy. Well, we teach, we, that healing is structured to teach any negative feelings and blocks to get rid of them so that you can move forward. Mm -hmm. But it's also teaching you to, so you can move to a higher level of class where we actually do take water and actually change it into sweet water or into salty water with our with asking the Creator to shift those energies. We actually are teaching people to do that. And I never knew why it was so important to do that, and it, why it was so important to pull radiation out, or all these little things that we teach in class. Until so I just came back from Japan, and I'm telling you, I realize it's going to be a very important, vital thing that is in our lives, that we're not learning these exercises for no reason, that we're learning it for a reason. It's big. They're useful, huge reasons. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.